It's the first I've heard of it. Well deserved ah. honor. Yes. Alright. It's like a boo and clap boo. simultaneous thing. Like I love you and I hate you, you know. <laughs> we love the hating world. You. <laughs> Comic Con 2015, how are you guys? <laughs> okay, so um can you uh, kind of introduce us to your character in the show and uh, yeah. What uh, what's the challenges that character to life? Sure. Um, I play Officer Jake Riley, who is um, a police officer who gets stuck inside the quarantine when it goes down. And uh, his role sort of becomes um, he's the character who we're, we're left watching and, and wondering if he's going to make the decision that protects himself or the decision that's right for the people and what is, you know, the responsible choice. Um, and he's a guy who's sort of an introvert and uh, he's guarded and he's sort of tough. <laughs> I did that to her earlier and now I just got it. <laughs> Amazing. Um, but uh, he's... He's a tough guy and and sort of um, he's good in his in his core, but because he's so protected, he doesn't like to show you know what he's feeling or, or how he is. Um, and when he's put in this position, it it causes him to want to protect himself at first, um, and then ultimately he's going to be someone who who comes into his responsibility and, and becomes a hero for the show. So. He's kind of. Uh selfish character, but like you said, he kind of looks out for himself, but yet he's a police officer, yeah. which is, you know, a position that usually people take as yeah. others. Yeah. So how does that kind of, why did, do you know why he became a police officer? And yeah, well, you know, I have, how I have that plays out? there's a whole, you know, I have a whole backstory for, for him and how he ended up the way he did. Um, and he makes a lot of sense in his, in his choices, but I mean, when you think about it, he's he's the only law enforcement inside the quarantine, and there's not a whole lot you can do when it's the masses against one. Um, and the power ultimately is going to become whoever has the weapons and whoever has the numbers. And he's, he doesn't have either on his side, he's the only one in there. So any sane person is going to realize that and sort of retreat into themselves and try to evaluate how they can help the situation. And again, his first impulse is, you know, I was wronged, I shouldn't have been in here, and he's, he's pissed. Um, and he he's going to have to work through that as the season goes on and find a way to not just take care of himself, but to, um, to try to take care of everyone inside and try to bring the whole thing to a close as best he can um, with the limited resources he has. Because um, he's only got so much ammo in his gun, and then that's that. You know, so there's his power is so limited as a law enforcement officer. He's sort of stripped of his title and his respect. Um, and we sort of get to see in the pilot too. They show the teasers of like 15 days into the quarantine, and you can see there's no control. Even when they bring in officers from outside to try to control the situation, there's just no no keeping people from trying to do anything they can to stay alive. They'll kill to protect themselves. Um, and that's just human nature too. And the, the most extreme circumstances you see people's personalities come through. Um, and that's sort of what the show ends up being about, is, is unlikely heroes and, and relationships across impossible borders. And uh, how these people, these interesting characters sort of unite and also come apart and um, the evolution of their, their relationships. Yeah. What are some of the challenges of uh, taking on a role that, I mean, this is based on a, a Belgian series, yeah. and you basically, you're basically kind of taking on something that already exists out there. Yeah. Uh, what are some of the challenges in, in doing that? Um, you know, some one of the challenges is just the the natural nature of being compared and uh, and you know looking at one thing and, and trying to think of how you're going to either replicate it or how you're going to do it your own way. Um, but you know, the easiest fix for that is to just think of it separate and to um, that show is a guideline for our premise and for our characters. And now that we have our own spin on the show, our show's going in a different direction. It's the same. Um, premise is sort of the same setup, but ultimately we're going to go a slightly different direction with everything. Um, and uh, for me, it was you know that actor is so different than than me, and my version of the character is uh, 
quite different. They're both, it's the same character in its description, um, but the essence of the human being is just so different that there's, for me, they're not even the same. It's not the same character anymore, um, which, is, which is kind of exciting to get to be a part of a show that is, you know, based on another show, but it's taking its, its whole life in a different way. So. Jake's vulnerability really comes out towards the end of the pilot yeah. when he comes kind of face to face with the virus. Do you think that's kind of a turning point for him in like what his role is, or would you say it's a different point in the story? Um, I don't know if I'd think of it as a turning point for him, just because that is um, that's a part of his personality that we just get to see as an audience for the first time is um, his temper and um, his sort of that's where his tough guy nature comes in where his first impulse when when he hears that he's stuck inside is, is anger anger towards Lex anger at the fact that you know, I'm, I'm a good guy I work for law enforcement you don't get, I don't get trapped on the other side you let me come back through um, that's his, his first thought and it makes him so angry because uh, you know he, he, he's right he works with them and um, he feels wrong that he was doing his job and now he's left to possibly die inside. Um, and that's not good news to hear. Hey, you're going to stay inside with all these people that you just watched die in There's horrible ways. There, nice pretty, there is a pretty lady with him, which makes life easier. <laughs> but yeah, this, this guy, um, I don't know if it's a turning point, but I think that moment um, is sort of the beginning of Jake's journey inside. Because that's his first response. Um, um, and a big thing for me in, in life and also you know, looking at characters is you have to forgive people their first response because a lot of times it's not actually how they feel but it's it's their impulsive instinct and uh, that's the case with this guy he's he's responding to the circumstances and now that he's away from it a little bit we're going to get to see his true, his true self 